hey guys welcome back to the channel anyway guys in my previous video i reported that our mommy of lagos is back from prison and somebody dropped a comment there telling me that we are enabling him you get ha ah, me i don't have a problem with bobby rescue i just like his vibe not like i support what he's doing it's just funny to me things that he does it just makes me laugh not because i support what he's doing or not you understand it's none of my business what he wants to do with his life so i just report and bring this to you guys egg your ma be no please <laughs> Okay guys, so when Risi came out earlier today and you guys, his friends are busy throwing her a party and they had like this boat cruise, you know, boat cruise kind of welcome party for him and he was living the life like but Risi came out of prison and he's even looking like he's looking he's even looking fresher than people that have peace of mind, you understand? Than people who are not who are not in prison because see how chubby he was, see how you know robust and fresh he was looking. Anyway, his friends Threw a party for him, like I said earlier, and they were having their best life on a boat cruise. You guys, it's good to have good friends soon because <laughs> me and you, do we have friends that are going to throw a party for us <laughs> when we commit one thing or the other? Anyway, guys, that's just a joke. And then moving on, guys, this protest that started on the first of August has metamorphosed into something else, especially in the northern part of Nigeria. We are the northern, and some of the um, um, northern protesters are beginning to fly the the Russian flag. Like, what are they calling for? What are they trying to tell? What are they trying to do? You understand? Some of them has gone as far as even hijacking police and um, ammo tank or whatever it is like the, is they've been looting it's been chaos it's been drama like the northern part of nigeria they are taking this protest even more seriously than we that are over here just take a look at what they've been up to in the northern part of nigeria So police has arrested one tailor who was seen like suing the, the Russian flag in bulk. Like, and the army has come out to say that this is like treason for you to be flying another country's flag here in Nigeria. Oh um, we don't understand where this whole protest is going to. The protest of end bad government government is taking a different dimension. To be really honest, a lot of people are feeling the hunger, feeling the heat, feeling the like things are not the same in Nigeria anymore. Things are super super expensive and life seems to be really difficult. Because the poor are getting poorer and suffering even more and some of the rich are getting even richer you understand there is actually no balance when it comes to that and the end bad governance protest protesters are taking it a step higher which all of us are in support of the end bad governance whatever you understand but not the looting not the flying of russian flag and not the chaos that has been going on in some parts of the country that is not what this whole end bad governance protest is all about it's all about the gov the the good of the country and not be trying to spoil more things for the country or in the country moving on a nigerian politician has traveled <laughs> hey, no good. has traveled all the way from here to the UK in person of Chris Uba has gone to the UK and he is now fighting artisans. <laughs> I don't know whether some of us think that the lawlessness in Nigeria is happening over there in the UK. We don't know how that case will metamorphose, but let me leave you guys for you guys to look at the video and then we'll come back and talk about it. Hello, 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 hello. Look at me. Look at me. Do that again. Sorry, Do that again. Sorry. You're fighting him, yeah. You're hitting the man. Why are you hitting him? Yeah, hitting him. Why are you hitting him? Why are you hitting him? Shut up, get out. Do you see? Get out. Yeah, you're a fool. He doesn't, want to pay. he doesn't want to pay the money. We've yeah. done work for him. Yes. The whole house. Is that right, Suleiman? Yes. So he's trying to beat him. He's a hard man. Yes. Are you a hard man, yeah? yeah? Are you a tough man? Yes, he beat me here. Tough man. Yes. Excuse me, look at me. Yes. The police are going to see that now, yeah? 
You don't want to pay money. Yeah? You don't want to... Yes, Christian. Yes. Yes, Christian. You got it? You guys, what's for those of you who are staying in the UK, I've never traveled to the UK before. I am not in the UK and I don't know their laws. What will what could happen to him when he went to the, the their country and after they've done something for him according to the video, you see him trying to work them out, he's refusing to pay them the money they asked him to pay. Do you think that that will def that will end where is it going to pan out well or what is it? Because the lawlessness that happens in this country doesn't go on in that particular country anyway i just feel like there's a lot of drama going on in the country this is and everybody every corner you go on social media is one news or the other and me i am here to bring it to you guys i just wanted to go and sleep i said let me come and give you people some more just before i go and sleep because i'm a boy <laughs> is my is my pain is my pain yes obviously yes 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 i own it i own up it is my thing thank you so very much for watching this video please like comment subscribe and most importantly leave me a comment in the comment section i'd love to read from you guys i love you all and i'll most definitely see you all in my next video